The next step is to look at the stability before the earthquake. It is always good practice to look at the stability at the stability under static conditions before the earthquake. It provides a good reference point for evaluating stability after the earthquake. So let's then go to GeoStudio and determine the margins of safety against sliding both upstream and downstream under static conditions. So the first thing we need to do is to set up a couple of new analyses under key in analyses. We can say add and we want to add a slope stability analysis using sigma stresses. So it's a slope analysis using sigma stresses. We are going to get our initial conditions, the stresses, from our parent and we are going to get the pore pressure from the parent. So both stresses and pore pressures come from the parent and our parent is the initial conditions that we have just completed. So the analysis type is sigma w stresses with our parent is the initial conditions and we get the, the stresses from the parent and we get the pore water pressures from the parent. So let's call this uh, analysis uh, before downstream and then we want to clone this analysis and call it before upstream so we now have two stability analyses one downstream and one upstream we have to assign the materials to the slope regions, draw materials, the dam embankment itself, uh, the foundation material, and we have our desiccated crust. And we have our granular drain. Notice immediately that from our initial conditions we have the pore pressure or the weight of the water of the reservoir is automatically included and so now we are looking we should also look at the case for the downstream case we have to do the same thing draw materials the dam embankment the foundation surficial crust and the granular drain. Now had I done this first and then cloned the second slope analysis then I wouldn't have had to assign the materials. So this becomes a personal preference whether you set up the materials and then apply the materials to the region separately or whether you complete one analysis and then clone it. So to begin with then let us do the downstream stability. Under slip surfaces we are going to use enter exit here. We've se selected enter exit and we are going from right to left. We then can say draw slip surface enter exit and I'm going to draw a segment here where I want the trial slip surfaces to enter 
and then again a segment here where the trial slip surfaces will exit. And I usually like to round off these dimensions so let's say this is 19 meters and uh, this is uh, 23 meters and we will do five steps over this increment and at the toe area we have 34 meters and 40 meters once again five increments and then we're going to try 10 different radii click on apply it adjusts the enter exit regions and the number of divisions so we are done now I want to draw your attention to one thing in particular recall that we are before the earthquake and so we have to say under key in materials for the foundation material under the liquefaction tab under the liquefaction tab we will unselect or disable use steady state strength when liquefied remember that these materials are all the same so we needed this in the in situ analysis however we don't want to use it in the stability analysis at this stage we'll use it later after the earthquake shaking has taken place we'll come back and use this again so we need to deselect use steady state strength when liquefied clicking on verify it looks like we have supplied all the necessary information the next thing then is to click on the solve icon save the file and let us analyze the stability for the downstream case and going to the results view in the results view then we see the factor of safety we can make our factor of safety font a little bit bigger and so we see we have a high margin of safety against downstream sliding prior to the earthquake let's go back to define then and look at the upstream case switching to the before upstream case we have to once again say draw slip surface in this particular case we need to first of all go to key in analyses and for the upstream case we need to select left to right enter and exit and then we can now draw slip surfaces enter exit we draw a region in the toe area and then another one at the crest area and once again for so that I can come back to my PowerPoint presentation cases I will refine this and uh, make it 6 meters and 12 meters uh, 5 increments and we'll make this 21 24 5 increments and 10 radii click on apply done and we once again can click on the solve icon and we can now solve the upstream case for the upstream case we need to make sure that we have the correct direction of movement so in this particular case we need to make sure that we have selected right to left and this is for the upstream case 
And having done that, we then can click on the Solve icon, click on Start, and then go to the Results view. And we see here we have the upstream stability prior to the earthquake shaking under static conditions. So once again, it is always good practice to look at the stability under static conditions before the earthquake shaking. And as I mentioned at the start of this segment, is that it provides a really good reference point for evaluating the stability after the earthquake shaking. So this then brings us to the end of this short segment on establishing the stability and computing the factors of safety under static conditions prior to the earthquake.